Hello there and welcome back to Connor where I'm currently faced with a pretty hard decision in terms of what to do here. Um, when it comes to actually how things are standing, we're currently all with uh, the English that they warned me. And when it comes to what I am supposed to do now, I'm kind of, uh, well, uncertain myself. I have taken 48 loans, I have uh, 53 loans to... Uh, to, uh, to go on. So I need to destroy these two English armies if I am to have any chance of actually making anything out of this. Or I can just peace out now and end it. But as you can see, the war enthusiasm of the English are is going down. England have won the length of the war, but the relative strength of alliances and also uh, other things are actually forcing it down. And I'm pretty sure, as I said, once Portugal and Norway has been pieced out of this war, that I can bet on Castile and France to fight it for me and most likely win it. As you can see, our navies are basically... Well, we do have the weaker navies now, but if we get these two out of the war, I'm pretty sure we can make something out of it uh, one way or another. And also, if I am lucky here and can beat these uh, armies in the field, I'm also pretty sure that we can get something out of it. So for now, or as of now, I'll be trying to uh, engage these battles or these uh, armies individually, and we'll see how it goes. As you can see, the English actually ended up destroying my armies, and as such, well, unless I actually have a big uh, army myself, I won't actually be able to get anything out of this. So, what we will be doing here is most likely just give up a deal here, probably with the French, and also pay 19 ducats, and that is basically enough to get me out of this. So I have to repay, or once again, repay a bunch of loans, uh, but I can't actually defeat the English uh, forces. I need at least 40k men to super beat them down. As it were, but their armies are injured, and they did declare a war for Glamorgan. So what I can hope for here is um, virtually that Askasia we did lose a couple of battles, but these provinces are siege. They will be gaining war exhaustion a little bit at least, and I have no idea how it will go or otherwise. So we'll cancel the production of units, and otherwise I have no idea how. Uh, how this will actually go. I'll try to repay some of my loans now because, well, no real reason to have that much money and not do anything about it. So we'll see here if or how it goes with the French and also Castile if uh, if they can actually sneak some troops over. Once these sieges are done, I'm pretty sure that I can make a favorable deal with Portugal, try and get some money out of them. So prolonging the war is probably in my best intention here. I'm a little bit surprised at the English AI here that they aren't actually moving towards. Uh, towards me and you can see the only thing that's actually making me go negative is uh, the current loans so that is kind of uh, kind of troublesome we'll uh, go ahead and tax it I need the money so no problems there but as you can imagine here we can't actually make anything because England is or has the greatest navy and thus I can't actually make any moves on them the English fleet here as you can see is rather huge but I think they'll at least suffer a little bit of income loss thanks to the sieges on the mainland. I'm currently gaining some war score too. So I might get out of this uh, scot free if I'm lucky. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, we do have gotten some war score thanks to the sieging of Portugal. So it turned out to actually be a blessing. And I'm actually very tempted now to actually release Cornwall. I think I can peacefully vassalize them if I'm lucky. And we'll see. Can I actually hand over Laborde as well? No. Brings up a little bit too much. Can't, unfortunately, not demand anymore any more money either but not Austria either that sucks but uh, yeah uh, we'll probably just go for this at least England will lose a province and hopefully I can get some colonies in a new world and gain some power that way we'll have to see but for now this is the best we can do and if I can vassalize Cornwall now that will definitely be uh, that will definitely be uh, a health helpful thing to do and apparently the base tax is way too low right now, but I can at least ally them and all that, so I shouldn't be uh, I shouldn't be too uh, too worse off or too bad off in that uh, respect. But for the time being, I have to focus on getting my my loans down or paid in this case, and then we'll consider how we'll uh, how we'll deal with things after that. Because as things are now, I'm uh, I'm looking very bad on the loaning uh, or on the loan thing here. It, I, I believe this is the third time I've ended up with over 50 loans at at a time so uh, yeah we'll see how this turns out I'm currently paying quite a lot in just interest so uh, I'll have to see how this turns out if I'm lucky the Castilians have already started the colonization of Africa so that's uh, fair enough I'll get it'll take a little bit while to get that uh, the guy that I need to actually start the uh, 
the exploration says I need to build a box simply to have them send out in well to find colonies for me or places I can colonize it'll be quite expensive to actually do the colonization so I'll just go for one bark and then we'll see uh, then we'll take it from there this is kind of well that was not what I wanted to show you it's over here I have made my way over here and as you can see we found a Castilian ship that is not good because well that means the Castile is definitely in the area doing something uh, I could potentially go for try to get fleet basing rights from Castile then and see if uh, my colonists would reach them because they do not reach Greenland as it is but they will as soon as I get the next um, a level of idea which is overseas exploration so that's not really the uh, the main issue here and hopefully yeah I survived till uh, to shore so uh, once again focus on getting my loans paid it will take a while and at the same time we'll start the colonization if possible I'll probably be aiming to get myself uh, Portugal and Castilla yeah, it's really starting to colonize down here so I'm a little bit unsure if I if I can get myself fleet basing rights or ask for fleet basing rights Castilla is a colonial power, so they won't actually give it to me. Uh, anyway, so I'll have to wait for 400 points to be able to actually start doing that. So in that aspect, I might want to lower my... Well, mates... Basically, I will think I'll just go ahead and make deals with whales and try to uh, try to integrate them. Uh, both to boot to my own economy, but also to try and... Well, be able to field a bigger army always helps. We'll, uh, we'll improve relations and then, uh, and then make it work. But other than that, not really much to report. So uh, we'll see how uh, we'll see how things go. I decided to take another quality idea. I'm basically wanting to end or finish that three as soon as possible. I'll definitely be taking military tech as the next one. But for the time being, I'll be focusing on trying to end this tech tree for the discipline bonus that will definitely be helping. Uh, other than that, we are closing in on getting the clothing range. I'm also trying to uh, kiss up to Cherokee here, or the Cherokees. Hopefully, they will uh, they will give me fleet basing rights down the line I can at least hope for it and if I get it then I'll be definitely be starting colonizing the coast straight away but as I said quality idea have a ship compatibility plus 10% along with a uh, good boost minus 10% to stability costs which are always helpful still having about 40 loans or 40 loans 40 loans uh, <laughs> exactly so we still have a long way to go before we are done with them the interest will definitely be uh, usual, useful when it comes to colonials and of course the Castilians have actually dumped down a colony here it seems. It died straight away though, lucky for me. So uh, it will definitely be a race against time to take this and I'll probably go ahead and uh, once I have about 10,000 men uh, and you, I'll most likely take Cherokee, the Aztecs and the Incas and simply uh, well I guess you could say just go straight ahead and go for the annexation and then uh, quick coring of those uh, those provinces for well it'll boost my economy a little bit and all that and it should help me field a, a larger army so we'll see if uh, if my plans here pay off or not we are closing in on the uh, fleet basing rights I have no idea how much it will actually cost probably a little bit but uh, I can live with that of course we get uh, bad events every now and again stability drop again I actually had just stability drop so I'll have to boost it up but for the time being things look pretty well. I lost my explorer by sending him to this area, which is quite bad. But uh, we'll simply have to sit by and be patient, hope that England doesn't attack. Cornwall is definitely a potential target once I actually paid my loans to attack Cornwall for, uh, with the goal of, well, taking Cornwall. Uh, probably just as a uh, some sort of ally to begin with now, but... Uh, We'll probably just go ahead and the next time I'll have to I'll have to consider and we'll find out once we once we've done. Of course, my king died, which leaves me with uh, a stability drop and a new king. Zero three one sucks, uh, but there is rather good. So my king, you uh, you have been chosen or been decided to be fit for battle, and he already is a general. It's not a real surprise there. He is seventeen years old. This guy is forty one. Hopefully, um, we get a stability fast now in terms of uh, having the king die because that guy will definitely be uh, be helpful so for the time being I'll uh, try and get uh, a colonial adventure going but other than that it's not really that much to report first colony has been set up in uh, well I placed it on this island for several reasons first of all the natives don't really care that much they're aggressive a little bit but on the more or less average, no, they do not care about me. They are more aggressive on the coast here, so I definitely need to have armies in order to subdue them if I were to start colonizing North America. 
So these guys actually attacked me straight away. I lost 70 men about, 60, something along that those lines. Um, it's a little bit too bad because now my income has <laughs> dropped down to a ducat. So we'll have to see how or how this actually turns out. I only gain 50 uh, or 45 a year. This guy helps, so basically 70 a year. It'll take over a decade before this is actually a proper colony. But now that I actually have that colony, I'm pretty sure that I can go ahead here. And yeah, I'll wait until I get it's a mission. Uh, they will at least have overseas expansion. I uh, don't really need it now, but uh, it will help once I actually get that one colony I have up and running. So, uh, as of now, I'll be borrowing this uh, diplomat here. I'm improving relations with Brittany because it's a mission. I'll be canceling the f canceling the fleet basing rights over here because right now there's no real reason for me to uh, to have them. Let's see here. Where access fleet, cancel fleet basing rights. It should also bring me in some more money. So that's nice. One and a half now. And I'll also be uh, reducing the uh, inflation once I can. So we'll see how it turns out for now. Still aiming to pay back my, my loans. I'm paying 2.2 ducats a month simply in the colonial uh, aspect. So until I get a second second colonist, I will definitely be, uh, be, uh, be using a... Uh, just one colony but once we get a secondary we'll set up a secondary colony basically I think around the time that the annexation of, uh, of Wales is done so for now with not really that much we can do we'll simply have to uh, sit by and be, uh, be patient I guess it'll be a little bit interesting how the colonial race will go in North America but hopefully we can uh, we can get it for ourselves that would definitely be uh, be of a great help Bad news, England formed Great Britain, and I'm pretty sure that actually gives them claim to everything I own. Yes, it does. And no, I do not like that. Uh, what I will be doing probably then is, uh, to some extent here, if I get all the English calls are gone. Well, that's bad. But, well, we'll have to deal with it some other way then. Uh, the annexation of Wales is coming along nicely. The colony is also doing pretty great, gaining some tariffs from it. And, well... Not really that much I can do. I'm still having some missions that I can pull off, like a royal marriage with uh, with these guys. And I'll actually do that as soon as I have a diplomat ready, and he's probably here. So uh, yeah, it will give me some extra extra points, and as you might imagine, uh, diplomacy. So uh, it should be fine. I'm thinking, yeah, actually, I, I should have checked that before I went one over right now, but. Not, nothing to do about that right now. Like, I'll actually get, end up uh, integrating them soon enough. So for the time being, I'll just be doing these missions basically because of the fact they give diplomatic power and I need diplomatic power for the sole purpose of, uh, of well, getting my diplomatic tech and ideas up so I can start getting uh, some more colonies going. So with that as the plan, we'll see how, see how it all turns out. Of course, Great Britain ended up declaring war on us. In this case, I have no idea who they actually declared war on. They declared war on Glamorgan. They actually declared war on Wales. And Austria supports them. Castile and France is in on my side though, which is good. I should probably have tried to get an alliance with Brittany, but uh, if the only thing they end up sieging are these two provinces, then I think I'm actually set. I'll not be participating in this war myself. Um, I might actually have to give them Glamorgan. And potentially something else as well, but I have no idea how this will actually turn out. Pretty sure my alliance is kind of stronger, no. But uh, if they siege the entirety of Portugal, and to some extent at least some of Austria, I'm pretty sure we can uh, get a fair enough result out of this, hopefully. Uh, I can always hope, but we'll see how it goes. My king, our colony in Morin has grown enough to become self-sustaining. Get, get some prestige, good. I do have to call this thing though, and that is kind of the flaw of my plan of uh, taking back those, uh, uh, taking back the, uh, what's its name, uh, the uh, uh, fleet basing rights. So let's see, if I were to offer a tribute where I give up my deals, will I be able to get out of this for free? Virtually, yes. And Great Britain will not be allowed to attack me in the time space and well, I don't actually want to give up my deals That is kind of the problem here, but if I were to do what? Uh, concede defeat Not enough So yeah, I think I'll actually allow them to siege because it's just two promises. They will get a ticking war score. That's true But once 
uh, Portugal's besieged here, and once that Austrian army has been defeated, we'll get some more war score on our part. So for now, I'll just not do anything, I think. I think that's a good plan. Uh, I'll have to make these guys love me again to get that the fleet basing right, and then we'll call this one, and also set up another colony, probably in Havana, and hopefully it will survive. I can only guess. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I do have some interesting news here. If we take a quick look on fleet setups, if I were to get Portugal and probably Norway out of this, then we would definitely have the bigger fleets. And on that score, we also still have the best or biggest troops, or armies in this case. And as such, if I get Austria to peace out some way or another, that basically should be enough to uh, to make things done. And unfortunately, I have one diplomat that's currently locked up in, in Wales here. And that means that if I were to do or try anything, I have to call this guy that's currently stuck here back. So I'll just leave him here for a little while and we'll see how <laughs> or what we actually end up wanting to do. Probably let him stay for another month. It takes actually four months to get him home, as you can see. So uh, I'll wait until then and then we'll decide on what to do. Well, it seems that I can actually bribe my way out of this war and... Except for the fact that I had to give it up my deals with France and Castile, I'm actually earning some money here because I made a deal with Portugal for 100 ducats, I peaced out with Austria. So I can still actually make some gains if I had actually used my own forces, had my own forces on the island. Because sooner or later then, I'm pretty sure that France and Austria, no, not France, uh, France and Castile could have caused them some trouble. But for the time being, I have no choice but to simply um, give up some money. And thus I end up with another loan. I have paid back a couple of loans so during this war. So that is not to, uh, well, say it this way. It's not a big, uh, big problem. Uh, unfortunately, I have to improve relations with the Cherokee again. So uh, I've actually lost three points of stability during this war. That is the most hilarious thing ever. And I've also, of course, gone and gained a Protestant province. So now everyone hates my guts. And apparently I'm ma back at maximum with the Cherokees, so I'll simply have to wait now to get the uh, things home. Considering that it decays on a yearly basis, the, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, the, not the relation, the, yeah, the relation, improved relations thing. I probably have to send him for another quick tour. And it'll probably be late for asking for fleet basing rights, unfortunately. I simply have to send him there. That, that was enough. It was there for one day, just saying, hey, I like you guys, do you like oh, too late. Do you like us, more or less. So yeah, I do have, well, I guess you could say some way now of, uh, of making things work. I still need to train a couple of thousand men to, uh, to send to New World, uh, more or less just as a protection, uh, protection squad, more or less. But I do have, I am at least capable of keeping my land, although I have to give up deals rather often, or often. I will probably also try now and keep relations high with both France and Castile, so I'll most likely agree to a new uh, a new alliance once the five-year truth thing is up. And as you can see, I've also got military tech uh, 10 right there. Many of the value of my units have been increased by 25%, so I now have Condotta, Lance Clayton, and Reformed Gallagher Infantry, along with some new cannons and Svarza right there. In other words, every single aspect of my military has got an upgrade. We'll go for, I think, the... Uh, Probably the uh, Lance Connecton. They are kind of in the middle, and we'll go for the Petrero. But uh, yeah, other than that, not much to say. We'll try to do some colonization. Great Britain has uh, apparently dumped down a colony here. I do have the hiccups though, that's why I'm sounding so weird. So for the time being, I'll have to focus on uh, getting that. Do I have the fleet basing rights? No, I actually forgot to ask for them. That is that is classic me being. Uh, Forgetting the most important thing. And there we go. You guys probably did a face palm when you saw me send that diplomat to, uh, to, well, how should I put this? When I sent that diplomat to, uh, to France. So for the time being, I'll just wait for the court to finish and then we'll, uh, give up the fleet basing rights. We'll try to take Central America before, uh, Castile, Great Britain, and everyone else does it. So uh, we'll see how that turns out, but for the time being, that'll be the end for this time. Sorry it uh, was a little bit longer than usual, and sorry that I've been messing up colonization walls and everything. If I just struck England uh, after the first time, I could just have broken the truce, uh, taken some more land. That is probably the best way to do this, mind you, so uh, I screwed up there. Thank you for watching, please leave a comment, praise criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye.